career mode, I don't give a heck. Hey, howdy, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. But welcome to the very first time. Okay, I gotta turn this down. This shit way too loud. God damn, this shit making me country as shit right now. We gotta turn this the heck down so we can actually hear ourselves a little bit. Jesus, that was a bit uh, a bit insane. Is there like a master master volume? There's a master SFX, but is there just like a master mower master, mower blades, mower engine, menu music? Is this, I'm not gonna remember all these. So hopefully they give me some on-screen tips. How do I confirm all this? Create a new, s oh, here it is. Play with tutorials. I'm gonna need a little tutorial. Mostly like I just said though, to keep the, the, the yeah, company name. Um, Lawn. Feels like I'm playing Call of Duty. I got a logo creator. I don't like that one. Well, I kind of, you know what, this one. Can I add more to it? Oh, that's, I can only add, that's it, dude? Let's be this guy. I don't know why, but this guy, he just, I feel like he resonates with me in some way. Let's see, we're gonna be out in the sun. Uh, we want something that's gonna bounce the light back. So we wanna go with a dark black uniform colors. Let's go with a dirt brown. Beautiful, beautiful. And then a light green X, no light yellow X, no light green X, no kind of frick with this though. Let's frick with this kind of matches the headphones too. I know they're not headphones. Well, they might be headphones. What do I know? Some things, but not much confirm start company. Yeah. I just want an old fashioned push mower so I can save money. Multra type type deck. Why are you telling me this? Oh my God. Uh, we got a, where are the, Frick. Where's my mouse settings, brother? Get on vehicle. Okay. Okay. Hold Z. I'm holding. I'm holding. Let's go. Up the throttle a little bit. Wait, is I... Oh, there we go. Okay, a bit high. Okay, it's either all the way or nothing. I love it. Okay, my camera's inverted. This is disgusting. I don't want to vomit. When I go down... It, why does it feel inverted? This does. This feels counterintuitive. Once you're on the ground, you need to cut your dive first, kind of high, and then engage in the cut blades, blah, 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 blah. Set your high cut to five to six centimeters. While cutting, you can track your progress. Cool. Okay, well, I'm... Wait, what's five to six centimeters? Five to six centimeters? That's probably... Hey, Siri. How many centimeters are in an inch? One inch is 2.54 centimeters. One inch is 2.5. Hey, Siri. How long is five centimeters in inches? Five centimeters is 1.97 inches. All right, we need 1.97 inches. I just feel like when I go up, it shouldn't be going up. And when I go to the right, it goes to the left, which isn't good. Can I like go first person? Is there like a first person? Cut at the wrong height? Fuck you, bro. Do I need to cut these two? These look like weeds. Probably gotta cut all this. I mean, it's just a tutorial, so I could probably skip it. Just practicing my edging though. Kind of nailing it so far. Oops, missed that edge. Missed that a bit too. Uh, okay, there's a lot of these and they're almost sort of planted. Maybe I shouldn't have been cutting those off. By holding control while stationary, you can engage pro view highly. Sure does. Bro, this camera makes me want to cry. I'm overloading the engine. This fancy ass lawnmower and I'm overloading the engine with this grass that honestly doesn't even seem that long. Like we're gonna be honest, like it's not that overgrown of a place. All right, we're gonna do one more path back and forth just so it looks nice. Ooh, I was gliding there, I didn't fully notice. Might have to get my wheels checked, get them rotated and stuff. We'll hit that with a weed eater. So we'll nail that in weed eater simulator whenever that comes out. Sometimes whenever I used to mow back in the day, I would just like, I would do my outline, my little edge, just so I don't have to try to bump up into the fence every time to hit it properly and going, you know, sideways. If you don't get it, you just don't get it. I don't know how you don't get it, but obviously this is easier. If you have an outline on, it's just like with, like with coloring books. Imagine if they gave you a coloring book, but didn't give you lines to color in. What would you, they would just be blank pages. And those are called sketchbooks usually. So like imagine that, but with like a lawn. So you just, you just give, put some lines in there essentially around the edge and then boom, you can color inside. But what I normally did is like on certain smaller yards, I just kept on going around the edge, just constantly on the round right the outside until around the outside, around the outside, until I got DMCA copyright strike. This mower would cost so much money in real life. And the fact that it gets 
caught up on like just normal grass. They never told me this grass was like moist. They didn't say that it was like covered with weeds. You know, this just looks like normal grass and this fancy ass lawnmower is getting caught up in. It's getting slowed down. I had to have hit like a snake family and it just got caught up in the blades. Is that a Tesla? Wait, I looked the wrong way. Oh, uh, dude, I went so long without moving the camera and now it's just feeling weird again. See, right here is why you do edges, even though I know I, uh, it's because I'm having trouble with the camera. Oh my God, slowest camera movement ever until I get behind them, then it goes nice and quick. Also, so I have like an area to turn out here. Granted, this mower is just like so big, I probably should have done even more. Of, a, of an edge, but it's whatever. I shouldn't be mowing uphill like this, but it's fine. This baby's got at least one horsepower, and I've definitely seen a horse walk up a hill. Ooh, around the trees. Ow. <sighs> Not a very tight corner. Boom. There we go. I noticed that angle. I found out the circumference by going around it a couple times, and then boom, nailed it. We gotta do 20%. Dude, I'm only at 20% of it. I mean, to be fair, it is just a big ass field. This is, uh, boom, there it is. Great work in real contract, however you'd be expected. What? No, you're lying. Hold on up. Uh, there we go. Okay, now now it's time. Now it's time for this, some contract work. Always check the duck height before you start cutting. If it's flashing red, you're cutting at the wrong height. True. That happens in real life too. Whenever your deck flashes red, that's how you know that you're cutting it too, like either too short or too tall. Um, once you select the contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to select the contract, cool. Completion cut, 99%. Cutting height, two to two, three eighths. Ground check time limit. I don't know what that means. What is ground check time limit? What does that mean? Recommend a deck with 39.3938. Wait, did the other one have a bigger deck? I didn't, wait, that sounds weird. I didn't even check though. How big is this deck? Does this not tell me the size of its deck? Our first lawn. <laughs> you, I mean, this is a lot of people's like first jobs, or at least it used to be back in the day. I don't know what people's first jobs are nowadays, besides maybe TikTok influencer, but that seems like about it. Ground check phase. At the start of each contact, you have a small period of fine to remove any object. Oh, okay. Checking, checking, checking. Well, I don't know what type of things I'm looking for. Okay, well, I guess massive garden gnomes would be one. This, tennis balls, of course. Those are definitely very um clunky whenever they get up in there is that a bear trap the hell why'd they invite me over you sick fucks what are you trying to do to me there it is let's go what was my time oh my god dude i killed that 39 seconds right yeah i think i did math correctly start the engine throttle it up change cut height i don't think we need to all right so like i was saying the key in mowing is getting a nice edge without murdering all the plants sometimes it's okay to murder just these but you can't murder the blooms it's usually my rule of thumb if you're gonna hit the plants just hit the leafy parts don't hit the pretty parts you don't want to ruin the pretty parts and even when you look at flowers in reality the prettiest part about them is that not all of them are pretty and maybe that's why people got like that one thought of like oh hang out with your ugly best friend so you look prettier type of shit because flowers kind of do that on accident. They just hang out with like uglier flowers sometimes. So like you see a really pretty flower, you're just like, wow, that's a really pretty flower, but maybe just reality is just a pretty flower, not a really pretty flower. I don't know how close I really gotta get. <gasps> Ooh, that was about to be too close. I'll tell you that much though. Ooh, no! We still missed some edge spots, but we only have to do 99%. So that's probably fine if a couple of the edges around the actual edge the key is gonna be not forgetting edges oh god dude this camera maybe the ca maybe that's why the camera is meant to be a pain in the ass just so it's harder to tell where you're going i wonder if this game eventually gets to a point where i have to like start running bags or like i have to mulch up a bunch of leaves and i have to take out the thing and dump it in a bag and then rake the lawn after probably not raking it because i guess <clears throat> once i start raking it becomes raking simulator and that's a whole different ip that could be sold to so be kind of be kind of ludicrous to give that free in a lawn mowing game go back this way do one more strip just because i don't know what happened in the yard right there but seems like i i don't know if that's me or what Ooh, i almost missed that i just don't know if this is a wide enough area for us to turn yet yeah, not really. But I didn't want to. I wanted to edge this. Oh, almost had some flowers, but we didn't. See, this is something else I also did. Whenever I was going around things, I just went in a circle forever until I, like, on one side, all the grass is gone. 
So like next strip around, I'm probably gonna not do it and just finish cutting this over there. You know what I mean? You guys will see what I mean if you don't know what I mean, but if you don't know what I mean, we'll just keep watching, you'll find out what I mean, just like I said. See, boom. And then we take that and then follow it down here and we finish all this up. Bro, how do people cut with these? Why can't I have an actual like zero point turn? Bro, I missed so much of the edge on that one. Tragic. Ah! Ground damage. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go full speed around. Okay, that's okay. Well, if only I could turn my throttle down a bit, maybe, without it just going dead. Unless I can now. No, it just turns off. Anyways, we'll get back. We'll get back to that later. We gotta hit around this edge real quick. Boom. And now we'll get back to this. Just simple as that. Damage the ground, fine incurred. How? Sorry that I can't go slower. It must be one of the drawbacks of keyboard and mouse. Like the fact, I don't know, maybe that I don't have like a finer th throttle, I almost said throttle control. Throttle control? I have no idea. All I know is that I'm hecked off at it. It also makes it a lot harder for me to not do it, just constantly going in circles. Because if I go any other way, if I try to like do circles on the edge, I'm just probably gonna damage the ground a whole bunch. I don't really want to do that. I still have a patch of grass over here. I mean, I definitely damaged the ground, but I feel like not that bad. I feel like maybe that's over-exaggerating just a little bit. Let's get in here real quick while we're over here. Ow. That damaged my mower. I'm suing this property. Gonna go straight ahead and then mow straight around this thing. You know, get this taken care of. Bro, there's no way I destroyed that flower. That flower was weak and wasn't meant to be around if that thing, if that destroyed it. Like, it's just, I'm just saying. Like, that one didn't get destroyed. I fully expected me to destroy that one. Shit, I missed a little strip over there. That's cringe as hell. Go back and get this little thing real quick. <sighs> All right, we're better now. I was going to freak out, dude. I swear. Don't turn too hard. We can't face any more fines. As if the person coming out here even would notice a little bit of ground damage. As if it really even matters. It's the ground. It's like, oops, I put a hole in the ground. It's like, yeah, but the ground is now just, it's still right by the hole. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I'm just mad that a little bit of, a little bit of tire tread marks, you know, maybe tore up a little bit of grass somewhere. So it might not be perfect. There might be a little patch. Like, I don't know, just grow up is really what all I have to say about that. See if we can turn around without damaging anything. Okay. Didn't damage the ground either. Cool. Let's do this. Ooh, God. Okay, I felt like I was struggling for control there for a bit, but we got it. Crushed it! Bro, this yard is, so, is just being f cut up right now. I was gonna say farm, but that's a whole nother game once again. Just simulated for just about every job out there. Okay, well, you know what? That flower was a bitch. I didn't like it. I'm also just gonna go ahead and say it. If I had a push mower, I wouldn't damage the ground with, like, tire marks and stuff, though. Unless I just, like, ran the self-propelled while it's sitting there, but, you know, I don't think the game's gonna have that. I mean, they don't even have a push mower as, like, your first mower, so. It would be, be kind of weird to have that be, like, an upgrade or something. <sighs> Fuck you. I'm gonna damage you, game. Right as I'm talking about how it would be better off with a push mower. Because I wouldn't damage the ground. I damage the ground. Are you listening to me? Uh huh? We missed this over here. We'll go pick this part up now. Boom. I think I got it all. Over here seems to get damaged ground easily. Maybe it's because there's a bunch of roots, so it's softer ground. I have no idea. I don't know the actual, like, reasoning behind why I might damage it. I mean, I know why, but it also seems inconsistent in some ways. So, I don't know. Crushing it. We're about to finish this up. I'm pretty sure... Is this my last bit? Oops, I accidentally just turned off my blade again. How did I... Bro, I literally, I purposely went on the brick so I didn't damage the ground. And you're saying I damaged the ground. Is it because I didn't turn my blade off? How? How is that a penalty? I'm literally doing the smart thing to do so I don't damage the ground by going on a ground harder than the, my rubber tires. Let me just tap it around. Tap it around so I, I don't get back to where I need to be. This is the part that's going to, I feel like, be the most annoying on this type of mower. Went slow. I guess I just have to not go full speed while turning, and it it's like, okay, it's good enough. Time for a 3,000 degree turn. 
Well, I guess a radius of 3,000. 3,000 degrees is like a bunch of circles. I, radius might be the same. All right, well, it wanted it done in 26 minutes. I think we're gonna beat that time. Assuming that this is enough. I might, maybe I'm missing a spot. I don't know about. Ooh, okay, yeah, I definitely damaged that ground. That's fair enough. Although I don't think it was in the best position already because that ground that was like right there, right there, it's not looking too great. Either. Oh my god, this game worst camera I've ever fucking had to deal with. Okay, this doesn't feel like it's gonna finish. Oh, never mind, bro. I okay. I mean, like I totally get going up and finishing it, but like, come on, I gotta at least do this part of it. I can't just leave a patch right in the middle. Get this, shit, this part two. Leave a couple tire marks, cause that's just how I do. Finished and done, put the blade up, let's go. Raise the cutting deck, why not? Reverse onto the trailer, fuck that dude. Let's go, Skrr, just kidding, Skrr. Am I going, there it is. Am I even going near it? Let's go, tell me that ain't beautiful. And if you do, then you lying. Mwah, mwah, mwah. There should be like a landscaper simulator where it, you can like go through and it has a whole bunch of plants and it tells you how to like take care of them and prune them. Not only would that be uh, like a very kind of fun game, but it would also be very peaceful and incredibly knowledgeable, you know? Vehicle Garage, crew mode. This is Vehicle Garage here. You can fix damaged vehicles. I don't think I damaged it enough to where I really care about repairing it. Let's maintain your vehicle. Okay, well, apparently you want me to. Is this my next one? The Kingsbury House. Complexity, one and a half stars. Easy does it. I'm pretty sure I already knew that. I actually already came here. <laughs> Hiccup. I already came here once, so you know, I, I knew that. Can I turn off the tutorials now? Because I think I kind of understand it. For the most part. I really have to pick my vehicle and employee each time. We'll mow one more lawn and then we'll see what we can do. Maybe there might be more things. I don't really know. I just feel like the first lawn is like the baby step. The second lawn is like, all right, you see what you're dealing with now? Then then after that, then it gets serious, you know? Okay, this looks a bit annoying. Cut height, two three eighths to two three fourths. Very strict. I don't normally mess with it too much. Ground check, I got four minutes to check all this ground. <laughs> How many objects? Three? Oh shit, dude. God damn, here's one. Some rocks, it looked like. Maybe some metal, some poo-poo. Honestly, poo-poo, if it's dry, isn't that really bad to mow over. Ooh, I did that one even quicker. Oh, 17 seconds. Speed. All right, let's hit it. What the hell do I hear? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to, there we go. Wait, there's my camera. I need an angle where I can at least see the cut blade. The edge of the cut blade, so I know I'm going at the right area. Uh, we'll go over these rocks. Seems like a pretty big lawn. But luckily, plenty of room past the flower beds. A lot of extra dirt slash mulch area. So, you know, I don't have to worry too much about possibly bumping into them. They're a lot more aware that, hey, people have to mow our lawn and having grass right directly next to flowers might sometimes lead into flowers getting hurt. So maybe we should give it a buffer zone. And they gave it a buffer zone, so shout out to them. Bushes, on the other hand, they don't really care. They're like, I don't really give a fuck where you place me. I'm going to grow bigger than you ever wanted. And then they do. And you're like, well, I mean, you did say that. There we go. One more line around. Probably more than that, to be honest, because that's just... I, with this mower, it's really just easier to constantly do loops. You know what? Speaking of loops, let's hit this in a loop. Oh, God. I bumped those flowers. Very pretty blue flowers. There we go. It's a nice big circle, so I'm not having to get super tricky with it. It's tree to, it's literally a tree to mow around. It's a tree to mow around, to mow around, that's right. I'm riding this line so perfect, assuming I know my cut height properly. But I just have my wheel overlapping it just a bit. I also think I said cut height, but I meant cut width. It's looking good so far though. Probably what I'm gonna do next is once I get down by that tree that I was going around, I made that really bad SSX tricky remix to. I'm going to I'm going to take the path. I'm going to go up and down the path a couple times. We'll go up and down this side just cuz it's easier to get onto. Oh shit, a gazebo. Yeah, sick corner. They should have a lawnmower in here that's like one of those really old-fashioned ones where it's just that rotating blade you push around and it just rotates because you're pushing it. I feel like that would be a fun mower to have to do a whole lawn like this in. Probably take about as long as it would to do a power washing video at that point. Maybe even put in a scythe, even though scythes aren't really meant to cut grass. I mean, it would do the job, but it probably wouldn't be a very good cut. Usually meant more for 
reaping what you sow literally that's why they call him the grim reaper but you guys didn't know that maybe you did i feel like it might just be one of those things that are so obvious it's not talked about the saying you reap what you sow then like people have scythes and they reap what they sow because they sow seeds in the ground and then they reap the rewards and it's like the grim reaper has a scythe and he just he reaps the grims i guess all right let's do another another part on the oh fuck off i knew that was gonna happen but i was hoping i it just wasn't going to we have enough dirt like it can be replaced it's no big deal grass seed's probably pretty easy to come by all right we'll do this side now we'll I'll also be sure to damage it up near kind of like the similar area that way it's symmetrical just because i want your lawn to be perfect in every way even in its flaws yeah it's pretty much all about just not going too fast while taking a, a corner and i won't damage it so it's pretty much as simple as that i just never mowed with a big ride on so i don't know the best way to mow with a ride on I, th I feel like most of the time when people have someone mowing with a ride on they don't care if their lawn gets damaged that much like we we use push whenever i mowed with my mom exclusively because people didn't want like the tire marks and stuff from the big ride-ons so it's like are you really gonna fault me for damaging it when they knew and if they didn't know then they don't really care about their lawn so i don't think it's a big enough issue but if like if they like should we not like should it really even matter you know what i mean like they had to know they hadn't known that like big big old ride-ons are probably going to be a little bit more aggressive than like you know a simple push mower so it's like the fact that i damage the grass is almost to be expected for me to not damage the grass should be a bonus same with destroying flowers honestly and also you kind of have too many flowers if we're just going to be real here like my allergies are going a bit insane right now so that's the main reason I had to take that one out. There has to be a reason that, like, I damage it. I don't know if it's because of my blade. I don't know if it's because my wheel. I'm guessing it's just from wheel tear. Finish this part up. Go in a quick circle here. See, hold on. Let's try it. I don't know. It seemed to maybe do something, but I don't know if it actually was because of what I did or if it's just because I didn't move as quick i don't know it's i mean that might might be the thing another test no wait not another test because i gotta go do this here we'll do the test here okay yeah so that didn't that didn't do it it kind of it was like it seemed like it was for a little bit so that's good at least i didn't damage two areas which i thought i might have i think if i just tap it just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Without ever going full speed, I'm usually fine. And I won't damage the ground. I think I found it. I think that's the, the way to go. It's just so annoying on this thing. <laughs> Maybe also if I keep it full speed, but don't hard turn it. But then it's also a bit tougher to turn it as hard. So it's like, hmm. All right, this side looks done. I mean, maybe, dude, this camera is makes me want to fucking cry. Yeah, great fucking game. All right, let's go. We're farming this now, dude. I don't even care. I, I don't even care that this doesn't have a till on it. We're farming. We'll get that other strip next. Although, I'm, I think I'm leaving it too wide that it's going to be annoying. If you have to ever mow a lawn, don't mow it like that. Don't just leave a strip that you go back for later because that's just going to be a mess and a hassle. Hi, this is John, and I'm showing you mowing do's and do nots. Do. Mow the grass. Do not. Mow the grass in dumb, stupid strips. Do. Overlap your current edge with your mow blade currently that was a bad description of that if you ever mowing overlap the edges you know it might you might look at it and you'll be like oh but i'm not getting as much cut area you're not going to be having as many random little grass grass cut streaks going through your lawn see this little thing that's what happens right there that actually happened it's really annoying how many people haven't mowed a lawn before Ooh, you guys see this Ooh, my mower's just floating towards it because it wants to hit this Oh, oh god, dude, I almost went on a flower murdering massacre there. You guys see that? I like bumped every single one of that. And if I just, if I accidentally turned in just a bit more, they were all dying. Uh, it could have been so bad. It'd be crazy to have a garden like this. This would be so much upkeep. Even my current yard is so much upkeep. So much so that I barely upkeep it. I, I say barely, it's just not upkept, unfortunately. But like managing all this would be insane. How much are you going to pay to cut this long? I mean, to be fair, I guess cutting this lawn wouldn't, isn't, like, the hardest part of it. Would still be annoying, but definitely not the hardest part of it. We'll do one more lap around. 
Ooh, just kidding. Uh, we should. Otherwise, I'm going to forget about that little grass area. Although, I don't even know if I'll need it at the end of the day. At the end of the grass cutting day, which is like, you know, 30 minutes maybe. I don't know how long it's been. Oh, it's been 16 minutes. I don't know how long it was said that this, like, would normally take, but I feel like I'm probably pretty on course. I feel like this one's taken me a bit longer scale-wise than the last one. I feel like the last one I was kind of just crushing through. Not really a lot of annoyances. This one has been a bit weirder as far as pathing. You know, I've had a lot less uh, not as useful movements. You know, I've had to back up a lot more on this one go past certain paths multiple times just because I missed it the first time or I cut it like not close enough because I didn't want to cut it close or just because the turn radius sucked could be either one boom oh dude we are so close to being done I think this has to be like a 99.5% cut so I would imagine 100% cut still doesn't quite mean 100% because like what are the chances you miss one single blade and it's just like, nope, 99.99999%. Sorry. Wasn't there a piece I had to cut over here? Or did I already get it? I think I already got it. Oh, I hit a root or something. Almost ready. Well done. Ooh. I wish this one had a gif at the very end, too, of me going back and forth cutting it. Hey, Dev, if you're watching this, sorry for the other things I said, but that'd uh, be cool. Huh? Would be neat. Huh? 95%. We're getting there. Don't damage the yard. We haven't had a fine in so long. Ever since I just learned that I can't go full speed while completely, like, cranking my, my, uh, my wheel, you know? We haven't had any lawn damages, so we gotta keep it that way. I hear you, bird. I'm almost done. I think that's my alarm to get the hell out of here. So close, 99%, just 0.5 more to go. Ooh, get these, boom. I missed just a tad bit on that one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see what I mean? Like there's just like a small little bit of grass there. Here it is, the final 0.2%. Hit a quick spin around, don't damage anything. Boom, baby. But now I, I'm gonna actually finish it. Too bad it doesn't like snap finish it. Like ding, congrats, 100% and everything just like gets cut. Look at this place, dude. Look at it. Nothing even showed up. Hello, person out there. Two people out there, wow. Such a busy area. Let's go, dude. Oh, we got paid big money for that one. I think, oh no, 356. We didn't get paid that much, but we have a thousand bucks now. Except all. Let's go. I'm gonna aim it to other. Oh, that was it. Well, cool. I already have it on my wish list, but you know, that was the whole game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited for that to come out. I'm excited to play some more of it to see what else they got going. To see what else, uh, okay, yeah, it won't even let me look, asshole. Um, but I'm excited, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see more, obviously let me know. You guys won't be able to get more until it's actually out though. So it's kind of like a, kind of a, a catch. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've said that so many times now, so I'm just gonna end the video.